All right, Red and Whites, so welcome back to the Ugly Inside video channel. This week we've learned that Harry Reid is off to Rangers. Do you think it's a good move for him, mate? It's good that he's getting experience, as long as he plays. As long as he plays. I don't see any point in going to Rangers if he doesn't get a game, because the standard of football up there, no offence to our Scottish viewers here, but it's pretty poor. It's pretty poor. And Harry Reid is, is capable of far more than, than that league. He, I, I believe Harry Reid could easily sit in the Championship. He could do a job for us in the Premiership, without a doubt. So... He needs, it's good for him to go away and get that experience. And I hope he comes back stronger. Now, Nick, do you think Harrison Reid's going to be the best player on the pitch for Rangers? Well, he's, he's going, firstly, he's going to a club that have got the money to buy the best players in Scotland uh, that, that they can get Not their hands on. The bank. Not according to the bank. But they've got the, the support, support to do that compared to the rest of the teams in the division. Now, Clive is right in what he said earlier, that it's not a very good standard up in Scotland in the Premier Division. So the second tier of Scotland is, is not going to be even half as good. Uh, so I think with Harrison Reid, again, he's capable of the Championship, he's capable of, of the Premiership, but what he needs is confidence and get games under his belt. And what he's going to be doing, he's going to be playing in a good side in the division that he's in, a winning side. and a winning side in the main. So he's going to be playing in games where he's going to get his eye in, he's going to get the chance to play football without too much pressure on him to, to win games. And that's the next step in his career, perhaps, you know, to get those games under his belt. Um, yeah, I would, have, I would have said it's not perhaps the greatest move in the fact that, you know, a championship club may have been better, but it's a, it's a, a little step in the right direction for him. And I think most Saints fans like Harrison Reid uh, and would be happy to see him make a breakthrough at St Mary's. Now if this goes well do you think he'll give him the confidence to push on for first team place next season? Very very difficult. Uh, the trouble is with the Premier League and not just Saints is that every club nowadays wants for a be want of a better term oven ready players. They want players who've got the experience not just at, in the top flight of England or internationally in other com countries in Europe but for their country. And when you look at the players he's up against, as, a, a, as I said elsewhere, a year ago, Harrison Reid was coming off the bench. Now we've got players like Geordie Classy, uh, Oriel Ramu, Victor Wanyama, James Ward-Prowse, Stephen Davis, all competing for a place in the centre of midfield. So it's very hard for him to break into even that little uh, pass for those players because you know generally there'll be two midfield players on the bench. And there's more than enough at the moment. Do you think he can push on for first team next season, mate? I really do. I think he's quality. I, I, I've never felt surer of a young player making it than, than Harry. Uh, I, I, every time I watch him, I just see someone with great qualities. And let's hope that he gets his chance because I'd be gutted to lose him. He's 21 now, needs to do it in the next year, definitely. Thanks for watching, guys. Let us know your comments in below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.